Hey basketball coaches and players, today I'm going to give you a very advanced strategy that you could use on the 3-2 zone defense as well as the 2-3 zone defense that could actually help you win a lot of games and confuse the other team like crazy because they're going to think that you're playing a zone and then a man and then a zone again. This is fantastic. Let's get down and let's check this out. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the 3-2 version of this first. This is what I call a switching zone. This is actually a very advanced strategy, or at least in my opinion, a very advanced strategy that can actually get you around different rules like not being allowed to play a zone defense. So what we're going to have is how I'm going to show you or explain it to you at first is just a simple five out set, more like a shell drill. Now this is how you can teach your players as well. So we're going to have player one pass over to player five and we're going to be moving just like if it's a zone. We're going to have that double team really quickly if you don't already know. This would be essentially the zones for a 3-2. Now there's different options for the zones. You can do something like this. There's a couple of different options, but generally speaking, what we're going to have is a zone like this in theory. And this would be a double team location, same as this and same as this. So from here, what we're going to have is player when player 5 gets that ball, we're going to have that double team in that corner. Player 5 is going to move over and now we're going to be having player four protecting the key, player five protecting that pass, player two protecting the pass, and a double team over here. Now player four needs to be quick because of course he needs to be able to pick off any passes going to this side of the court. So really quickly, once this double team happens, there's a couple of different options. Of course they could do cross court passes, hopefully player four picks those off. Another option is of course they could pass down to this corner. This would be a double team down here. This is basically a double team everywhere along the three point line, but it's a switching zone. This is a little bit different than my perimeter basketball zone defense book down in the description below. With that book, you get a double team from the free throw line and above. Now from here, we're gonna have that double team down here. Player four is going to be protecting this side of the key which is now leaving this whole side open so player five needs to this player needs to really protect this whole side over here if you wanted this to make it more sense for technically make more sense we can switch player two and five that just to make more sense now from here what would happen well let's say player five sets that screen well in this case player two is going to use that screen and now there's a couple of things that need to happen. This is the advanced part. We're going to have player one switch off onto player two. If player five rolls towards the basket, we're going to have the closest, closest one of these two players, which in this case would be player three switching off and following player five so that there is no lob or bounce pass or any ability for them to get a pass into player five. At that time, player five red is going to come up and double team. At this time, these two players have to yell out switch. That means that now player three is taking player five's location down in that low post. Player five, let's say, goes to the opposite side of the key, for example, then player three and four, they are the ones who are now protecting the low post. We have player five zone, player one zone, player five zone, player one zone, player two zone. Now, this is still a double team. If we have another screen coming from this side, then now what we're gonna have is player two using that screen, player two picking up that player, player four popping out, player three protecting the key, and now player one and player three and player four need to yell out switch, same as player two, because now, we're gonna have player one cutting down, player one red now taking that low post. So now let's say that player stays in the low post, it doesn't really matter. We now have back to our 3-2 zone defense, but we now have, most likely the players would be playing like this, we still have our 3-2 zone and we still have full coverage of these players. I hope this has made sense so far. Basically, what I'm getting to is anytime there's a pass, we're still in our zone. Nothing's changed. Anytime a player drives, same thing. If a player drives, we are still in our zone. The only time we switch is if we have 
a screen. That is the only time we ever switch. Now, if we are in a 2-3 zone, again, same idea. If there's a pass, there is still a 2-3 zone. If we pass again, or if they pass again, we are still in our 2-3 zone. But as soon as they screen, we will have a switch. That way we are covering. Now, if this player rolls towards the basket, player 3 needs to stay with him the whole time. Player 5 and 3 will then yell switch. Once player 2 is no longer a threat to score, player 3 is now switched with player 5. And player 2 can go off and, let's say, go to the other side of the court. It doesn't necessarily matter. Anytime there's a screen, player 4 would then move up, player 3 would move down. Anytime there's a screen, player 5 is going to use that screen, player 1 is going to switch, player 1 is going to be rolling towards the basket, and now player 5 is going to be popping back up. Anytime there's a screen, they switch. Player 4 is going to be moving up, so he's going to be yelling switch as well. We are still in our 2-3 zone defense. Even though we have our big players who are no longer protecting the post, down there, if there was a center or a big man who went to, let's say, the high post and got that ball, we can yell switch once again, and now player 5 and 2 are now back in a relatively safe position. We want to be able to switch anytime there's a mismatch or anytime there is a screen. If you want another advanced strategy when it comes to a zone, make sure to go check out my unbeatable and perimeter basketball zone defense books down in the description below. I hope that this video has helped you become a better team and win more games. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.